Hello guys, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Puzzle 2 playthrough and uh, we are continuing where we left off, mostly and we are trying to get inside the facility I think for the most part, oh god, that's not that's a failure we haven't had those in two or maybe three episodes All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of... Okay, let's exit over there. The cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator. So we need to get up there, happen. yeah. Um, is there something on the other side of that? Okay, so there's... We could put a portal up there, but I don't know what it would do for us right now. And other than that, there's... Uh, well, I know that we could set up a portal over there, or over there. But how does it help us get up there? I don't know. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So there's... Oh, that's... That is an option. But as I say, I don't know how it would benefit us. Is there anything up there we could set up a portal? Okay, that doesn't work. Yeah, it needs to be the white color to be oh, accessible for us. Okay, so there's some sort of pipe down. Hold on. That gives me an idea. Okay, so we are up here now. That's... That's good, I guess. Now the next thing... We need to figure out is... How we're gonna get... Ah... Okay, that... Seems useful. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a oh, wheelchair. Okay. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. That was uh, not exactly what I planned. Let's put that in here right now. Oh, so we can actually. Ah. So with that puzzle, we could paint any area we wanted. If we color this one. Okay, that. Mm, I don't think we get enough bounds out of that. However, if we put say some over here, we could jump over there. Well, we could go over that way. But yeah, that doesn't seem to be working quite as I wanted to, but I'm gonna put that back. Okay, almost. Right, so we are up here. We need to get... I'm guessing up there. Okay, that did not quite work. Almost, almost. So we can get up here, that is... No, fact. Ah, if we get portal down here, let it shoot couple that times of that 
and we're gonna move it back over there. So we go over this way. And that's the exit, so to speak. But I'm not. I don't think it's gonna work. However, this might be a useful trick. So we're up here. Still need to get. Huh. So if we could get over there, we might be able to. So I'm assuming. Well. Okay, let's try this. It's probably gonna be catastrophic. Yeah. Oh wait, I I have an idea. Oh, okay, let's uh, put you over there, so we're gonna keep you. And where does this take? Oh. Okay, let me try this. A bit puzzle over there and over there. Does it fly through? It does. It makes that bounce it. So I'm assuming we need to... I think I got the idea now. So if we put the orange down there, or maybe even a little bit closer to the edge. There we go. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> right, so I'm assuming we're gonna toy with the gels a little bit longer. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay, so I'm assuming this is for clearing out something. Yeah. I think they negate each other. I don't know what... Where do I... Okay, I need to get to the exit there. And... Okay, let's uh, try this. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, um... We put it down here, though. Maybe even closer to that. But technically, I think... Okay, that did not work. There's something we need to press over there. And of course, I don't think there's a way for me to get straight away that way. But I do have an idea. Are these lined up? Almost. So we need to move it a little bit. So if we start going this way and... No, did not work. I was thinking about using the speed from that and then switching the portal over that way. Okay, that will not work because there's this one. And these are not usable. Okay, um... If we move it this way, we could make all this, uh, this bouncy bouncy stuff, but... Okay, 
Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, this button over there. Okay. I have an idea. I'm gonna have to move this way, though. Okay, we stopped the water. I get it, I get it. So we got over that. There we go. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. <laughs> Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor okay, and just so we, let that handsome devil go about his there. business. We know that there's this thing. Hold on, let's try this. Okay, then if we move the, this one over here. That one there. Uh, you know what? Let's put it this way so we're not gonna run us fast. And then we put that there and this here. We. Oh, that was easy. I'm assuming this is where we need to go. Maybe not. Okay, let's have a look. We could... Uh... So that's the... And that's that one. Okay, um... Maybe we go down there, we could get up. So let's go have a look what we can see up this way. Because I'm, quite frankly, have no idea what I should be doing. I can see something over there. Is there any... Chumby chumby gel going on somewhere? And where the hell do we need to actually go? Okay, I'm gonna put the orange back down there and get up here. So we can get a better look around. Yeah, that's not gonna work. However, that one is. Now, the next thing to worry about is... Okay, if we put the orange down there... Where does it hit? It hits that. Now I'm assuming. Okay, it bounces me over here, but not all the way through. Is there a way for us to get. Okay, let's have a look. If we put the orange up over that way, it bounces us from there. Okay. We might have to... Okay, so if we can get that... Or this area... Into bouncy, we might have to jump from there, and then over there... Then there, and then... I don't know... I mean, we could probably get a puzzle up there, but... Where do we need to head from there? Is the question. I mean, probably there... Or up, anyway. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, we don't need to worry about that one, just only to mark that. So we could set up a blue one over there now. And if we go this way... 
Okay, that did not work. Let's try it again. Then we might be missing something still. Jump this way. Almost, almost. Damn it. Damn it. Huh. That gives me an idea, actually. Just go this way. Here we go. Oh, but the angle is not good enough. So where do we need to go then? I mean, I know that we need to get up there, but of course there's nothing that we could jump on from there. Okay, it's a uh, too low angle. So that is not gonna work. And I don't think there's a way for me to follow that one. I mean, I don't know where it would take me anyway. Of course, yeah, there's uh, no way I'm gonna hit anything over there. Let's get over this way and have a look at what we could see from here. Yeah, we can't put portal down there. Is there anything else over this way that we might be able to use? Well, there's the water, but that... Well, actually, I don't think we can even use that one. Hmm. This is intriguing, to say the least. Um, I mean, I'm assuming that's all the blue things we would need, but I could be wrong. Okay, so if we jump there, it jumps us back from there and then over that way, so that did not work. Unless... We can go through... Right. Oh, hold on. We can't put anything over there. All we could do is... Uh, well, first of all, we need to... There's nothing we can use this on. We can just jump down here. Put the blue one in here. Then we put the blue one over there. We can get a lot of speed. And if we can, uh, I don't know. Well, all right, we can't put anything over there. This might be a bit more complicated than I thought. Okay, yeah, that is not going to work, although it was a nice idea, but it's not going to work. Now, what I could do is try to get myself with enough speed to jump from there to there, and uh, well, that wouldn't help really all that much, to be honest. I don't know, I might have to end this episode here and try to get a little bit of... Uh, hints online how to go forward from here. So if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And also check out my Patreon and Discord links down below if you're interested in either one of those. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.